Hello, this is Scott Pacheno, editor of telecoms.com here at 5G World 2016, and I'm talking to Petrit Nahi from Netscout Systems. So, Petrit, why don't you just start by telling us a little bit more about your company? So, Netscout is a market leader in service assurance, um, and one of the unique things with Netscout is that actually it has coverage of uh, uh, monitoring the networks from RAN to EPC to core to IMS uh, and data center as well. Um, NetScout uh, actually has two parts of the business. Uh, one is the service provider business, which is where I work, uh, and the other part is the enterprise business as well. Okay. And um, so service assurance often involves having a, a real sort of insight into what's going on in the network. Is that part of what you do? Yes. So we monitor networks basically um, through, uh, through RAN, through core, through uh, IMS, uh, so end-to-end -end coverage of, of what's happening in the network and uh, both signaling and the, and the data plane information is, is what we're looking at and what we're monitoring and we're providing a very rich data set of information to, to oper operators, service providers um, to uh, look at the performance of the network as well as a set of products which uh, enable them to, to look at that performance, to troubleshoot what's happening in the networks, um, look at the subscriber experience and so on. Right, so, so ultimately what, what, you're, what you're offering to service providers is, is the ability to sort of fine tune their networks, fine tune their offering, uh, as you say, troubleshoot yes. and generally Im improve, their, improve their products. Mm -hmm. Um, and what about here at the show, uh, at 5G World? Can you tell us a bit more about what your company's discussing here? Yes, so we're, we're talking about the end-to-end -end visibility uh, and some of the challenges with the increasing capacity demand that they're facing, service providers are facing, with the increasing complexity. Uh, we have a lot of LTE rollouts, with, we have a lot of uh, new services being introduced, Volti, Video, AMBMS, um, as well. Uh, we're talking about that, we're talking about the importance of the end-to-end -end visibility. I think if you look at what these services um, uh, and the challenges that they're presenting to the service providers, uh, that end-to-end -end visibility, visibility becomes critical. Um, the data increase is, is, uh, is a challenge for, for the uh, service providers, but also presents an opportunity for them. Uh, they can use that data in different ways, potentially to do different things with that data as well. So we're talking a little bit about that as well. And uh, one last question before we uh, wrap it up. Um, as we're well, talking about 5G here at 5G World, we know that the reality of 5G is still a few years away, but we're, we're, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, in terms of network assurance, in terms of network visibility, is, is that going to be, do you think, more important than ever as we get closer to 5G? Uh, yes, I think there's a tendency for more uh, network centralization, network function centralization, virtualization. Um, um, one of the things with, uh, with LTE, which was, which was nice, at least on the, RAN, on the RAN side, is that you had a distributed system which was pretty resistant or robust to failure. Right. If you had a node B failing, um, you know, the, the coverage from the other E-Node-Bs would compensate for that. But as we centralize, we start try and centralize that, um, those failures would be a lot more critical, the impact will be a lot more critical, the monitoring will become more critical on the, on the, on the RAN side as well. Great, well thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers.